this little monkey design. And today I wanted to show you how to work a star stitch. This is a stitch that's just a little bit beyond a basic crochet stitch. So when you work a star stitch, you want to do a base row according to whatever your pattern is written and what you're working on. I would work the star stitch in a hook that's just a little bit bigger than what you've been working on since star stitches tend to get a little bit tighter. So I've done a base row of half double crochet with an H hook and now as I'm ready to work my star stitches I'm going to use an I hook. So first you're going to do is make sure you have an even number of stitches. You're going to start out with chaining three then your first star is worked along this chain. So you're going to insert your hook in the second chain from the hook, pick up a stitch, yarn over, and pull it through. Then in your, you're going to insert your hook in your third chain from your hook, which is the first chain you made, yarn over and pull through. Then you're going to insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. The second stitch of your project, yarn over and pull through, and then in your third stitch, yarn over and pull through. And you should have six stitches on your hook, or six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Then you're going to finish with a chain one. That's your first star stitch. Now your second star stitch and each star stitch after that is worked just a little bit differently. You're going to first insert your hook in the loop that closed your previous star. So in this spot right there, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Then the second stitch is going to go inside the last leg of the previous star stitch. So it will be in the front loop and the back loop of your previous star stitch's last leg. Insert, yarn over, and pull through. Then you're going to work in the last stitch of the last leg of your star stitch, which is this one right here. Yarn over and pull through. Then you're going to work in the next two stitches. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert your stitch, yarn over, and pull through. Now again, you have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six stitches. Close with a chain one. Now I'm going to walk through that again. Your first stitch goes in the loop that closed your last stitch. Your second stitch goes in that last leg. So find the first loop, front loop, and the back loop. Yarn over and pull through. Then in the last stitch of the last star, yarn over and pull through. Then in the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through in the last one. Now you've got six stitches. Yarn over and pull through. So I'm going to work it again. So again, we've got six loops. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Now this is the last stitch on your row. There's my chain one from my previous. There's the last first stitch. Second. Third. Fourth. Now you're going to end your last star for the row actually in the chain one from the beginning of the last row. all six and chain one. Now when you go to work the back side is not the same so you've got to make sure that you do your star stitches on every other row. So your next row you'll need to just do a base of either single crochet or half double crochet. You're going to start in 
the loop that closed the last star. I'm just gonna do single crochets. Then you're gonna do that last leg of the last star. Then it will be the loop that closed it. The last leg. The last loop. Last leg. The loop that closed it. When you count your stitches, you should have the same number of base stitches, which was an even number, and the same number of stitches on your row after your star stitches. So I started out with a base of 10 half double crochets. So then I will have five star stitches and I will have 10 single crochet stitches. And that is how you work this star stitch. So then you could work another row of star stitches here if you would like. I hope that you've learned something, and if you would like to follow along on my videos, you can hit on the subscribe button below and learn some more interesting and unique stitches for your crochet projects. Thank you.